Several Detroit families come together for a sign of solidarity behind tragic losses of their loved ones. Their goal here is to bring awareness to each one of their cold cases. Pamela Osborne joins us live tonight with more on their search for justice. Pamela. Sandra and Rod, over the years, we've actually spoken to many of the family members of the victims that were represented here today. We went through our own archives just so you could see what this wait for justice has been like for them and what they're doing about it now. At the corner of John R. and State Fair on the city's east side, loved ones gathered together, handing out flyers so we don't forget the men and women whose faces they hold dear. Tamala Nikki Wells, her car was found down the street on Coventry. The mother of two vanished almost 10 years ago, leaving behind her two children. The, the worst part is not knowing. You know, there's a lot of people losing their loved ones. You know, my heart goes out to them. I'm passionate because no one deserves to be taken from life. But at least they know where their loved ones is. I don't, I don't know. There were others who knew that grief well. This man right here was shot 13 times. Kelvin Wheeler Jr. was killed at a red light at Livernoy and Ewald Circle in July of 2020. The 34-year-old father, educator, and football coach was studying to become a preacher. Go look in the mirror. Think about his son, who's not gonna have a father. Think about the community that he could have actually helped. I just want justice for my son. In March of 2020, Stephen Radcliffe died after being hit by a white Ford Escape at Dequinder and East Robinwood. The driver never stopped. Activist Malik Shabazz lending his voice, encouraging others to speak up. We need people to join on board. We need people to help us to clean up this city. And so this is part of what they were doing today, handing out these flyers, reminding people that there is reward money available for information, the clues that lead to any sort of arrest in these cold cases. All you have to do is call 1-800-SPEAK-UP and these family members, these loved ones, they are certainly hoping that you do. Reporting live tonight outside of police headquarters, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4.